Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today. What's going on? Uh, it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what day it is, but today's our last day here in Hawaii. It sucks. I'm leaving. Um, it's sad. Jeremy's sad. I'm sad. Well, Jeremy's not sad, actually, because he gets to stay another two weeks. I'm sad that I have to say goodbye to you, though, Garrett. I, that's scripted. We planned that. That's actually supposed to make you, uh... <laughs> uh, no. Um, we got the shots that we needed. It's been fun, and... Yeah, that's about it. Breaking, breaking drones. Don't, don't worry about me. Breaking drones. Um, so yeah. So, uh... So yeah. So, 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 so yeah. Nice outro. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> See you guys in the video. Cheers. No problems. Every time we get luggage out, this is the process. But it's cool though. I mean, we look so much cooler. We look so cool <laughs> super cool okay. all right take care brother it's been real yeah wait till it stops yeah. oh okay so good seeing Jeremy actually it's really good that I saw Jeremy because we've been talking for years we've hung out a few times but never like on a project and for a long period of time so I'm I'm super stoked that we got to work on a project together and we had a whole week and especially in a place like Hawaii it was a lot of fun and now basically it's over now I'll be back in Bend after playing the waiting game on a aluminum tube should be interesting. Thank you. Oh, sorry. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Made it to Oregon and it is so much colder than in Hawaii. Yeah, buddy. I'm excited. I, I uh, can't tell you guys. I want to talk about something that's really important to me. And I think, I mean, this, this Hawaiian trip has really kind of been an eye opener for me because it, I can't tell you what project we were working on until it comes out, but it was a really huge project and I realized today that maybe I wouldn't be here if I'd never taken a chance to just travel in the first place and I also thought today how difficult it was for me to do that in the first place to actually travel and and even more so it was more difficult for me just to travel and basically say I don't care what's gonna happen in my future. I just wanna do what I wanna do now. And you guys know, growing up, I feel that's never like a good option. People don't react good to that. They're like, well, but what if, what about retirement? Or what about career goals? What about, you know, there's just all these people that just create noise in your life trying 
not, I mean, they're doing it in good intention, I'm sure, but it's always kind of this fear factor of what if you don't do certain things? If you just do what you want to do, you won't ever do what you have to do. And I found more and more that that advice sucks. People telling you that you have to do stuff in fear of whatever it is that they're afraid of, it, it is terrible advice. I mean, no offense to anybody, but the last three years of my life of doing what I want to do and not really worrying about what the future will hold, I mean, who can predict the future? I went from just a do with a camera to working up an assignment, a project with like, I can't say the name, but it means a lot to me. I just want to exist and love and appreciate life and grow. I don't want to get stuck. I don't want that feeling of just like hammering away every day and not going anywhere, which <laughs> the last three years has not been anything close to that. It's been so exciting, so forward driven, so passionate. I love every moment and I, and I just want to, I wouldn't be here if I listened to everyone else. That's what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't be here doing what I love, totally content with life, if I kept listening to what others said that I should probably be doing because of the fear of what might happen that hasn't happened, that nobody can predict. There, the future is super uncertain. This last project, this Hawaii, flying and having a lot of time to think has just really brought us here to talk about this kind of stuff. And I know there's lots of obstacles for a lot of people, but I don't think there's one person out there that doesn't have obstacles. We can all really work towards our dreams given that we're smart at finding the resources in our environment to leverage our situation. So whatever buts and excuses that you put onto yourself, stop thinking about the things that are stopping you and start thinking about the things that you can leverage, the, the positive, the good qualities, the, the resources you have, all can be utilized to get you to where you wanna be. Life, right? It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy, but anyway, Sorry guys, I got a little bit serious. It's just, there's a lot going on and there's a lot I've been thinking about. Um, I'm really happy about everything that has happened. Hawaii was just absolutely beautiful. Morocco was absolutely beautiful. I mean, this year alone has just been so influential in my, I don't know, I feel like I'm, my momentum is going, going faster and faster. It's just speed of light right now and I'm just, I'm just, Every day I'm, I'm taking pictures, I'm filming, I'm editing, I'm, I'm pushing, I'm screaming through this existence, doing the things that I love, and I, I just cannot keep that inside. I want, I want everybody to know, I want to share my experience, I wanna share what works, what doesn't, the trials, the errors, the, the bad decisions, the good decisions, I don't know, I, I don't know, but we're here. And, and and that's good, we we exist. That's the number one thing to be grateful for. We are alive. So I'm gonna sign out. Thanks guys for listening. Love yourself, love others. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, love you. Something like that.